First of all, I want to say that this video is completely different from anything I've put out. If you're expecting me to talk about stocks right now, it might be time for you to tune out on this video. But I hope you'll stick around because we have important things to talk about, okay? And it's about spreading love and positive vibes and joy in the world and, and helping people that may need it, okay? Because now that my channel is growing a lot, 99% of the comments I get are absolutely amazing. But there's a few comments that I get that are troublesome, okay? And I'm not talking about the, the, like, the jokes that you guys are like, hey, looks like chubby Leo. Hey, looks like Leo ate some burgers. Like, that's hilarious. I love it. Keep it up. I think it's funny. But th this video isn't about the, the comments that are jokes. That's different. This is something else, and I want to read just the first comment to you. Um, and I apologize, this is a graphic comment. I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now. So here it says, the only reason NNDM goes up is because you stock twit YouTuber praisers talk it about it. That's it. You want a real 3D company, invest in TRNE, soon to be DM desktop metals. NNDM went from four to seven. Wow, big fucking deal. You mad two bucks to low rent for me. Not quite sure what that means, but this person's clearly angry. Clearly angry, right? Here's, here's their next comment. Dude, really? Total clickbait. It went up a dollar. You're this excited? Obviously you want this YouTube money. Tell us when merger date is complete. Not because it went up a stinking dollar. You owe me seven minutes of my life. You just wasted. It happens again. I unsubscribe and tell everyone else to do the same. So this was my comment, and I, I genuinely feel this way. I make these videos to help others, share positive vibes, and hopefully put a smile on people's faces. That's it. Sorry you felt like it was a waste of time. A person never responded to me. And a lot of you guys say, hey, don't respond to the haters. Don't respond to the trolls. Don't respond to the bullies. Don't give them your time. They're not worth your energy. And I disagree. The reason I disagree is whether someone disagrees with you or not, they may deserve a little bit of your time. They may deserve a discussion. They may be hurting and they may just need someone to say, are you okay? I'm sorry. I said, you know what? That's it. Sorry you felt like it was a waste of your time and I meant it. I meant it. I wasn't taking a jab at this person. I meant that I'm sorry that you felt like it was a waste of your time. That wasn't my intention. The, the, I think the best thing I ever taught my kids is to not dismiss people when they might be hurting. I, I remember he's my, my oldest son. Uh, he's soon to be 14. But when he was eight or nine, he came home from school one day after he had been bullied. And it was pretty bad. And, and after, after listening to his story and consoling him a little bit, I, I tried to make him think, of, think about the situation in a different way. And I said, I said, what do you think's wrong with the person that was bullying you? And he's like, what do you mean? And I said, do you think he's okay? Do you think he might be hurting? Do you think anything's going on in his life that makes him want to do this? It's like, I don't know. And, and, and at first he didn't really care, right? He was mad and he was angry and he didn't, he, he didn't care what this other person was feeling or thinking. And I said, most people that, that bully or hurt others are being hurt or bullied themselves. And maybe he needs our help. He's like, what? Why would I help him? He's, he's bullying me. He's making me feel like crap, dad. I said, I know, I get it, I understand. But I encouraged him to talk to this kid the next day when, they went to, when he went to school and to ask him if everything was okay. And to this day, they're really good friends. Simply because my son said, are you okay? And then come to find out there's a lot of stuff that's gone on in this kid's life and we know him really well now um, that makes him act out in these ways. And they, they've had ups and downs in their relationship, but their relationship is strong because my son reached out 
And now he knows that every time this kid lashes out, that something may be wrong. I think that's the best lesson I've ever taught my kids. That sometimes it's okay for someone to disagree with you and it's okay for you to reach out a helping hand, even if you're hurting. Because that person may be hurting more. So this person commented yesterday, I mean, after various angry comments, right? Um, Big deal, big fucking deal. This comment came up yesterday and YouTube flagged it, okay? It says, you invest in PSTH because he's a god. Anything he touches turns to gold. He's a billionaire. You're in your garage, okay? Because of the name you invest. Once I bought a Ferrari, I went to the dealer, looked at it, and I bought it. I didn't kick the tires or drive it or complain about the ride. It's a fucking Ferrari. What do you need to know, okay? On the name, you buy it. It's destined for greatness. I mean, fucking look at it. Get it because of his name. You invest. Dipshit. Now... I could have said, like, here's the deal. Okay, bye, you're blocked, right? But I remember this person, right? I remember this person's comments and I remember commenting on this person and trying to engage this person. So I I meant what I said here and I'm about to read my comment. It says, I said, YouTube flagged your comment and I can see why. The only question I have for you is this. Why do you continue to watch my videos and comment such terrible things every time? You have to have something that you can do to create a positive impact in the world, something anything really. All I am trying to do here is to create a positive impact. That is all. And I've told you that before. Email me if you would like to talk someday because I sense there is more to your internet anger than meets the eye. And then I gave her my email address. Because I think there is more to this. People that troll and bully online than than just them being angry at the person who's talking on the screen, right? We hide behind our keyboards and we lash out at people and we don't think of the consequences. And I hope this person emails me. I hope they do. And I don't want any of you to find this comment and say anything to this person. If you do and it's negative, I'll delete it. But I want to leave this comment up with my comment at least for the next day or so, okay? So this person has a chance to respond if they want to. Because I think it's important that we engage people. And I know you guys are going to tell me it's not worth my time, but I think it is. Because I'm here to create a positive atmosphere, to share some love, to share some joy with people, to share a little bit of wisdom that I had, that I've had over the years from from investing really well and doing well in the stock market. That's why I created this channel. But again, remember, like I started this channel as a comedy channel. Nine years ago, I, I want to make people laugh. I want to bring joy to the world. That's my goal in life, period. And I'm, 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 I'm glad you guys notice that because when I was preparing for this video, he doesn't know I'm doing this, um, but this is another YouTuber that doesn't have many videos on his channel at all, but he made an amazing video and I've been trying to encourage him to make videos since I watched this one video of his. But, th- but he had this comment when I was preparing to make this video, he sent this. And it says, Richard Allen, my favorite YouTuber by far. He promised to pay me $500 if I said this. <laughs> Seriously though, I've been following Richard for a long time now and seen his subscribers deservedly grow and grow. I don't honestly care about the giveaway. I appreciate everything he does and always look forward to watching his videos. I should be the one giving him the money to thank him for the gains I've made this year. Long may it continue. And then I said, thank you for the big smile. These kinds of comments make this YouTube thing worth, worth it. And, and these kind of comments make me happy. They make me happy. But, but no one would comment this if, if I wasn't in turn putting a smile on your face. That's my goal with this channel. Please keep that in mind when you watch my videos. I may not do the best technical analysis in the world. I may not give you the best facts, as some of you say. Uh, I'll do my best, but my whole goal with this channel is to bring joy, share a little bit of wisdom that I have about the stock market, but mostly to make you laugh every once in a while and hopefully make you smile and make your day a little better after you watch my videos. So I hope that's why you're here. If you are, thank you so much. If that's not why you're here yet, 
I hope that's why you stay. Because I'm going to continue to make these videos. I'm going to continue to try to put a smile on your face. And if you need my help, reach out on Instagram at I'm Richard Allen. Or email me, richard at imrichardallen.com, and I will respond. If you need my help, reach out. We can talk. That's why I'm here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Um, and uh, we'll put some, uh, some cat vibes on the end of this video. Thank you so much. Have a good night. <laughs>